high? Have you ever pondered the profitability of finger millet farming? Perhaps you've considered the steps involved in growing this nutritious grain. Well, today we're going to explore just that. Finger millet, a staple food in many parts of the world, begins its journey in the seedbed. The preparation of the seedbed is crucial, requiring a fine tilth due to the minuscule size of the seeds. These seeds find their home at a depth of two and a half centimeters, with a space of 25 centimeters between rows and 10 to 12 centimeters between each plant. To maximize yields, timing is everything. Planting should commence as early as possible in the season, coinciding with the onset of rains. Quite simply, the earlier the sowing, the higher the yield. Now let's talk about potential returns. In Kenya, for instance, the retail price of grade two finger millet grain stands at roughly 151 Kenyan shillings per kilogram. The wholesale price is slightly lower at around 139 Kenyan shillings per kilogram with a potential yield between three and a half to four metric tons per hectare, it's clear that finger millet farming can be a profitable venture. But that's not the only advantage. This grain also boasts exceptional storage capabilities, remaining fresh for up to a decade in optimal conditions. This nutritious grain is not only a profitable crop, but also a versatile one. Finger millet finds its way into various products such as flour, cookies, rotis, and even beverages. Its high calcium content makes it an excellent choice for growing children and aging individuals. Finger millet thrives in areas with an annual rainfall of about 1,000 millimeters. It can adapt to a wide range of soils, from rich loam to poor shallow upland soils, as long as they are well-drained and rich in organic matter. What products are made from finger millet? The finger millet can give value-added products, such as finger millet flour, cookies, finger millet roti, Finger millet beverages, like finger millet soup and malt, small millet flakes, roti, dumpling, popped millet and malt food. In Kenya, for example, it's popularly known for. Food uses such as marking uji, ugali, bread and other products such as malt and beverages such as beer. Finger millet is an excellent source of natural calcium, which helps in strengthening bones for growing children and aging people. In summary, Finger millet farming offers impressive profitability thanks to its high yield potential and market price. Additionally, the nutritional benefits of this grain make it a valuable addition to our diets. Whether you're a farmer looking for a profitable crop or a health conscious individual, finger millet has something to offer. So the next time you bite into a finger millet cookie or sip on a finger millet beverage, remember the journey this small but mighty grain has taken from the seed bed to your table. It's a journey of early planting, meticulous sowing, and careful harvesting. It's a journey that proves profitable and nutritious, all the while feeding and nourishing communities around the world. And that, my friends, is the wonder of finger millet farming. Comment, subscribe, like, and share for more insights. Be blessed.